Good morning. Good morning. Happy New Year. Today is January 9th, Monday, January 9th. And the question I'm asking today is, should you podcast guest? Should you host your own show? Or should you do both? If you are listening to me live, go ahead and post in the chat what you prefer to do and why. And what I'm going to do in the next few minutes is share some of my ideas around this question so that you can come to your own best decision for where you are in your business right now. Should you guest? Well, I have a bias here. Yes, you should guest. And why should you guest? Whether you are earlier in your journey, a more established business owner, or someone who's already a luminary, the beautiful thing about guesting is that you can show up on a show that's right for your message, deliver your magic, and lasso already established listeners back into your world. The beauty of podcast guesting is that you curate opportunities for you to contribute to shows where the audience to message match is right. And when you get into a conversation with that host about expertise that you bring to the party and the listeners are paying attention, when you are invited to extend your call to action to book a call with you or download your free gift or whatever it is that you decide, you can lasso those listeners to become your potential clients and monetize from those conversations. If you already have a four-figure offer that's already selling to your ideal clients and you're ready to scale up beyond the people you already know or are being referred to, how magical is it to be on a show that's widely regarded and to be edified by the host and to lasso those listeners back into your world? If only one listener decides to take you up on your invitation and you're able to convert that client into a paying client, you're in the money already. So that to me is incredibly intoxicating. So if you are new to podcast guesting, you may be thinking to yourself, I don't even know if I like it. I don't even know if I'm good at it. I don't even know if I can make it pay off. Well, my advice is to answer those questions for yourself by making podcast guesting a visibility strategy that you're going to get serious with. And then when you demonstrate to yourself that you love it, you're good at it, and you can lasso those listeners to become your clients, then you say to yourself, huh, maybe there's something to this. Maybe I should keep it going. And then the third question is, hmm, I wonder if I should have my own show. If you're thinking about having your own show, there are certain things that you want to consider, which is it's a big commitment that you make to make a consistent habit of delivering a show on a regular basis in service to your audience. And you're starting with an audience of zero. And so it's a slow build. This is not a get rich quick scheme where you're going to host your own podcast and all of a sudden you have hundreds or thousands of downloads. There's a lot to it and there are experts out there that can teach you how to start your own show and grow it. I am not that expert. But the advantage that you have when you have your own show is that you are positioning yourself as an authority in your space. You are curating guests to bring to your show that can be edified and you get to benefit from how the Collectively, you both promote the show so that more people can listen and hear and benefit from what all is said. But make no mistake, it is no small task to start a show of your own and to be consistent with the show of your own and to take on the, the task of creating your own show before you've demonstrated to yourself that you're a great guest in the first place. Well, to my way of thinking, it feels just a little bit premature. Now, if you are an established business owner and your four-figure offer is up and selling and going great guns and thought leadership is your number one priority, by all means, start a show of your own. Just recognize that monetizing from that show is going to require a whole new set of skills and areas of attention that you need to put focus to that is going to require time and attention and a long-distance run approach. Where I come out on this is... Guests like 
a ninja. Decide to guest at least once a month, once a week. That's my philosophy. I will book myself on one of one show a week, the right show that's the right audience to message match for what it is that I like to talk about. And that means I'm going to have 52 shows in the year. And I, even if I repeat myself with my message, it's the same message, a different audience, the same message, a different audience. I learned that first from Lisa Sasevich, the queen of sales conversion. She would say, why are you trying to create so many different masterclasses? To dial and deliver a wonderful, wonderful masterclass that converts reliably, deliver that, and then find a new audience to share it with and a new audience to share it with. Just as she's saying that about masterclasses, I'm saying that about conversations that you get to have with hosts of influence who can open the door for you to access their audiences as you have a juicy conversation that is of mutual benefit to the host, to the audience, and to you. Make podcast guesting a steady habit. Prove to yourself that you're good at it, that you enjoy it, and then you can lasso those listeners to become your leads, your clients and your fast path to cash. You may find that podcast guesting as a steady diet is all you really need to do. In addition to whatever else you do to spin plates to kick, that make your business run. I invite you to consider taking this on as a challenge. If you're interested in learning to be the podcast dream guest, the top host can't wait to book, I will be doing a live masterclass on January 23rd at 11 o'clock a.m. And I will drop the link below so that you can register for that. And what I'm going to be doing during this masterclass is I'm going to be sharing some of my finesse tips and ninja strategies to wow a host before, during, and after the interview so that they are wowed by you and are favorably inclined to book you and also recommend you to other influential hosts that they know. This masterclass is going to cover just sort of the tip of the iceberg in terms of being prepared in this way, because there really are six powerful steps that I want you to learn how to embrace and master, is to prepare for the podcast interview, to position yourself as an expert that a host can't wait to book, to prioritize the right shows so that you don't waste time talking to the wrong people, to learn how to pitch and make a winning approach so that your approach stands out and stands apart in a winning way, how to ping pong people back into your world so ultimately you can profit. There are six steps to master as a podcast guest, and I am masterful at teaching all of them, and I'm going to be digging into a big part of the preparation piece during the masterclass on January 23rd. You're going to learn how to prepare and wow people before, during, and after the interview. And if there's more that you want to learn, well, there's more power under the tent over here, and I'll tell you how you can play. So for now, where do you come out? Are you interested in guesting, hosting, or doing both? Comment in the chat. Let me hear from you and share your point of view as to why. And I look forward to seeing you very soon when I come on live to share additional value that will make coming to the Raise Your Voice, Make Your Impact Facebook group something you look forward to doing every day. All right, that's all I have for you for now. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.